the success of the European exploration, precisely the British exploration of East African region from around the 1859 to around 1890 can be said to have been realistic based on the contributions of some Africans. Some of these Africans have been referred to, or these Africans have, have been referred to as Bombay Africans. They may refer to as Bombay Africans. Bombay Africans were former slaves that were rescued by the British or the Royal Navy when or after the abolition of the uh, transatlantic slave trade or slave trade generally. Originally, these Bombay Africans were forced into slavery from Africa and they were rescued by the British Royal Navy when they were being carried by some Arab slave ships that were actually navigating the Indian Ocean. Now, after they were rescued, they were taken to Bombay, India. In Bombay, India, they were educated. The missionaries, or they were, the missionaries educated them in places like Bombay, Pona, and Nashik. When the British decided to carry out navigation, when the British decided to carry out navigation and exploration of East Africa, one of the British uh, explorers, or precisely the president of the Royal Geographic Society, from around 1837 to 1874, who was Sir Henry Beto Freire, suggested that the British explorers should employ these Bombay Africans. As a matter of fact, these Bombay Africans, some of them returned back to Africa. Most of them were actually from East Africa. Some of them returned back to Africa. This particular development and this story may have been ignored for quite some time. Basically, the rejuvenation of this story was traceable to a fourth generation Indian who was a member of the Royal Geographic Society in London. He actually lived in London. He went by the name Clifford Pereira. As a young boy, Clifford was said to have um, realized the time his mother referred to a particular place to be Ferrere Town where he was told that these Africans or these ex-slaves resided. So this made him to take interest in the analysis and research of these Africans. With the suggestion and advice of Henry Bette Ferrere, some of these British explorers, some of them were Harry Johnston, Joseph Thompson, Captain V. L. Cameron, James Grant, Henry Morton Stanley, and John Speck decided to employ some of these 
Bombay Africans. And with the help of these Bombay Africans, they successfully explored most of the area in East Africa. So you cannot actually explain or analyze the success of the British explorers in East Africa without mentioning the impute of these Bombay Africans. Some of these Bombay Africans, some of the notable among them were Abdullahi Susi, who was originally from Mozambique, James Chuma, Jacob Wang Wright, Sidi Mubarak Bombay, Wikitani Matthew Wellington. These Bombay Africans were very instrumental because most of them knew the area since most of them were from East Africa. And they were as well educated, uh, could speak English, and can, uh, could as well speak local languages. The terrain, we are as well known by them. They went ahead as well to contribute towards the success of Christian missionaries. They play a very important role in the activities of the Church Mission Society in the East African sub-region. Well, you cannot basically explain the sources of the explorers and as well that of the Christian missionaries within East Africa without as mentioning or explaining the impute or the impact of Bombay Africans. If you are watching our presentation for the very first time, please subscribe to our channel and click on the notification icon so that anytime we produce a new content, you'll be one of the earliest persons to be notified. Please, we seek your support in order to get some logistics that will help us to create better videos to as well create better production and provide important logistics that will help us in research. Thanks for being part of this channel.